the first stage is, is essentially stage zero, which is where most of society is at. And I would label this as survival. Stage zero is survival. And the name of the game is basically who can survive best. And there's a, uh, the person that comes to mind, frankly, at this stage is Dan Bilzerian. So everybody know <laughs> Dan Bilzerian? <laughs> Dan Bilzerian? So, <laughs> so I, I came across Dan Bilzerian like years and years and years ago when he was first becoming popular on Instagram. And he's got like all this luxury stuff and cars and girls everywhere. And it's like absolute material, pinnacle of material, like gluttony, basically. And uh, I think most young men who look at his like Instagram or something would be like, oh my God, that's success. <laughs> that's the thing. And my point of view, at least, is that that type of success is just a survival instinct gone wild. It's like, how can I survive? At meaning, how much money do I have? How many resources? How much pleasure do I experience? And how many people admire me? All of the things that help us survive in the wild, resources, sex, pleasure, followers. It's like, let me accumulate as much of that as I can. <laughs> That's just the, the game is like survive better. And when I was sort of, when I mentioned I was like crying in my mom's kitchen after the, the highest level of financial success I'd ever attained, and even the stuff, like I'm driving this new Audi and I have this house and all, and I, I was like, this is, doesn't mean anything. Is, the, is this all we're doing here? Is like trying to satisfy our, our wants, our desires? Like, I want this, let me go get it. Is that really the purpose of life? Get what we want, avoid what we don't want? If so, that's like so meaningless, at least in my eyes. And that's what brought me to tears because it was like this existential crisis. What am I here for? And uh, so anyway, I come across Dan Bilzerian and there's the initial like, oh my God, that's so cool. And then I keep looking and I'm like, eh, something doesn't smell right here. And it wasn't until actually EGT Live, funny enough, 2019, the one you were at, it was, I, I remember coming randomly across this interview with him. I hadn't seen or heard from him in, in a while. I come across this interview and he looks so miserable. And he says to whoever was interviewing him, he's like, you know, after all this, all the like fame and or social media fame, all the experiences and the pleasure and the girls and all this stuff, I'd call it a net loss. It's like it's a net loss in the end. I'm worse off. And it was this moment of like perfect vulnerability. I like, can't believe he just said that. <laughs> but wow the net loss he's further behind for trying to get ahead and so that's stage one survival and the key here i had a friend once who uh was kind of going down the same path like dan bilzerian was sort of his uh, muse <laughs> and i remember him talking about yeah seriously I, I remember him talking about you know who it is actually oh yeah yeah um I'm with him in LA many years ago, like nine years ago now. And we were talking about this concept, like what's your purpose? What are you meant to do? And he said, money. My purpose is money. And another friend of mine had this amazing comment. He's like, don't confuse a survival imperative with a purpose. You need money to survive, like your body needs blood, right? Steve Jobs had this, shared this analogy you need money to survive, like your body needs blood, but the purpose of your body is not to like have blood flow through it. It's just necessity. So stage zero has to be addressed. <laughs> you can't really go beyond it in any uh, functional way without addressing, okay, do I have enough money to live? Do I have shelter, do I have food? All of that, for sure, right? A certain amount of pleasure, uh, you know, having like a, a relationship or a partner, like having your basic needs fulfilled. But beyond that, uh, what else is there? Because that's just stage zero. We haven't even started the path yet, if that's the obsession. Haven't even started. And most of, 
what I see anyway, I don't want to make these like grand generalizations about society, but it seems to be the case that we're all still stuck at stage, stage zero and we're kind of on this merry-go-round of who can survive best. So when the path begins is when you wake up to the fact that survival is not the highest game we can play. And that's the moment in the kitchen where I was like, oh, there's more than there. Well, I didn't know for a fact that there was more, but I, I hoped with all of myself that there was. And so I set out on this journey around the world and entered into uh, what I would call stage one, 